People will acknowledge your flaws before they acknowledge your courage. People will shine light on what they don't like about you before they acknowledge your strengths. They won't show, tell you about all the good things about you. They won't shine light on that at all. Because to do that makes them feel more insecure about who they are. Because they have not yet realized their brilliance as you have. And that's why you get on YouTube, black girl. You get up here every day. You get on YouTube because you're smart. You get on YouTube because you're smart, because you are gifted, because you're talented, because you got something to say. What's up, Waxer Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Oh. My this is Waxer with Nana. Nana. I'll be Nana if you if you my dad. Yeah, so guys, as you can see how creepy look right now, you understand. You guys know. Babe. I'm gonna cheer him up because once he touch taste this food, wait, babe, cause it's grace. Once he tastes this food, he's gonna cheer right up. So you guys don't worry, don't worry. Right. This is waxing with Donisha and Clip, and we ain't came to play. We be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is a the wax is squat. The seafood shrimp boil squat. All right, babe, say grace, and then we're gonna get started. Oh, he ready. Take it for the seafood boil. Let it be nourish to our body. In Jesus' name, bless us, so God, sweeten us. Yes, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. So go ahead and get started. You guys, we got sausage. We got roasted potatoes. We got corn. We got cucumbers. We got butter sauce. Now, this butter sauce, some people are looking at it like, what's that on top? You guys, I got peppers, mm -hmm. onions, um, mushrooms, and guess what? Spinach. Yeah, baby. I got spinach. On top as well. So this is going to be extremely good. This is going to be so good. And it's still hot. Yes. Can y'all see that? I think you can. Mm. Yummy. So how is everybody doing today? What's up, fam? This is your boy, D, from DB Eaton. And right now, I want to talk about this amazing shirt that I got on right now. The Yeah Man Be Blessed shirt from Waxing with Ganesha and her husband Cliff. This shirt is amazing, y'all. It fits well. It's 100% cotton. You know, it's off the chain. You know what I'm saying? You can go and buy yours today off of our website, waxingwithdanisha.com, off of YouTube and also Facebook. You know, go ahead and put yours in today, okay? Also, in the meantime, Yeah Man! Some water. Can you shut one up there? Mmm. Mm. You chunk the when you when you cut up the, the ginger, you made it chunky. There's chunks of ginger in here. When I tell you it tastes delicious. Since when did you start liking cucumber? I needs to know. Since I did that, I know it's spicy. There you go, baby. Mmm. Mm. And you guys, we used only the best oil and the best butter. We used extra virgin olive oil and Kerrygold butter. So you know it's lit over here, okay? We also, I also used coconut milk and I mm -hmm. used chicken stock to make it. So... It's going down. I want to taste the sausage because these are the ones, the 100% grass-fed beef sausages from Costco. So I want to taste those. I know you already ate a whole one. It tastes like smoke. It's like a smoke taste, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a, beef, a, a smoked beef jerky. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. So good. I'm not, I don't want to get too full. So. <laughs> um, I just have it up here so they can see it. I'm just trying to. But. 
We can doing? scoop this out and put some sauce in here for you. I so. You don't want it? Okay. I'll make a smaller bowl for you. Mmm. So good. So, first, I want to start this off by um, giving my condolences. There is a subscriber to my channel for a long time. She's been subscribed for a long time. She lives in Australia. And um, she's been a long time subscriber. Always very faithful, always showing up, always commenting everything and um recently she brought to my attention that her mother um is going through some health issues mm. she want me to be should be a baby father <laughs> <laughs> yeah she I've heard baby father. <laughs> mm. Okay. Very true. Anywho. She said that, I'm going to show you guys a picture of her. She says that her, her, um, her mom's heart condition, she needs surgery to replace valves with new plastic valves. They cleaned them out, but now they have worn and basically hanging on a threat, thread, or on a threat, mm -hmm. due to her age and COVID delays. For her to get this sorted, it needs to be done ASAP, and the cost is massive, so it's very stressful, babes. Mm -hmm. So, she um, sent me her PayPal. Um, her PayPal email. I'm going to put it in, leave it down below. Um, she's a very sweet person. And so I've already donated. If God lays it on anyone's heart to donate, um, to her family, a seed of faith, please sow that seed of faith, um, via her cat, her PayPal. And I want you to know that we're praying for you. We're praying for your mother. Yeah, I know what going to. She calls her mom. We're praying for your mom. And that everything works out um, and that she's taken care of. And so just understand that if there's one person that understands what you're going through, it's definitely Clifton right now. And so, mm -hmm. and we can both sympathize with you. So keep the faith. Yeah. Do the best that you can and just know that we are praying for you. The Waxer Squad is praying for you as well. And so... God bless you and your mother and your family and during this time. Okay? So I wanted to say that because... Yeah. I know what you're going through. She's been a very long time supporter. It's not easy. Of the channel. <clears throat> and... Ooh, look at that. Uh, look, babe. Look, do this, babe. Do this. Uh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. What's up with you and the cucumber, dude? You mm -mm. loving that cucumber today, sir? Ooh. Mm -mm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Totally. Totally, dude. So, you guys, today. I'm sure you can see what the title is. I want to address. No, school. Babe, mm -hmm. you've been eating for 10 minutes and you just now noticed there was no spoon. <coughs> so, I want to address. <coughs> Prissy P. I want to address her video that she recently posted. 
I will link it here for those that want to go check it out. First of all, ooh. Mm. 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 Her story is very much so relatable to a lot of people that are on YouTube. But I have compassion for her because I'm also a black woman that has had to deal with a lot of scrutiny and um, belittling and harassment and bullying, cyberbullying, as a result of just being on this platform and being in a relationship with my husband, I've had to go through a lot of it, okay? Now, there are a lot of people that will say, don't worry about it, sis. Just keep doing you. Don't give them any hate. Don't give them any shine. Now, I want to talk to those people first. If it was you on a public platform, okay, under the same kind of bullying, cyberbullying and harassment, and belittling. And not only are they coming in your comment section, they're making whole videos about you, okay? Whether they're right or not, it's still belittling, it's still harassment, and it still doesn't feel good. It still hurts, okay? And they're monetized. They're getting paid off of your pain. They're profiting off of your, off of your um, pain or your issues or your flaws or whatever. Now, take all of that into account before you say what you're saying. And if you still can't relate, then you can't relate. That's okay. Um, I know that you guys think that you are being positive when you say that. But to someone that's constantly being bullied, constantly being attacked by people on the internet... It doesn't feel good to hear that either. I would very much so, we would very much so, you uplift us, say something encouraging as far as like, I'm praying for you. I would rather you pray for me than to say, don't even pay them no attention, just brush them off and keep going. Now, ultimately, you do have to rise above it and keep going. You do. You know what I'm saying? And you will. You will. But at the same time, it needs to be addressed when it's on a astronomical level. It needs to be addressed and we need more people talking about it. And I don't know why there aren't more people talking about it. It's not okay to come on someone's platform and bully them. And harass them. It's not okay. And, uh, and and here's what I'm finding out. I've been doing my research, you guys. Okay? And I've been find what I've come to find out is that it's mainly black women that are doing this. Okay? It's mainly black women, our own sisters that are belittling us, putting us down, saying things that hurtful things, wishing death on us, wish wishing all of these, wishing we would divorce our men. That we wouldn't be with our, in a relationship with our men. Just wishing we would drop off the face of the earth. It's black women. We need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are or where you come from. When you're being bullied, constantly bullied and talked about like that, it's enough to push you over the edge. You're not going to always turn a eye to it, a blind eye to it because it's a it's a personal attack on who you are as a person. 
And let me tell you what makes it worse. When you have people out here creating videos about you and everything like that, horrible videos about you and all this saying all this crazy stuff when they don't even know you, judging you, right? Whether their judgments are truthful or, or whether their judgments are correct or not, nobody likes their flaws to be put on blast, right? Um, and I know some people might say, well, you put your own flaws on blast when you get on camera. You might not see them as flaws. Until somebody else makes a video about you and tries to bring you down by addressing something they don't like about you. What makes it so much worse is when you have people coming over from the channel where they were being bullied at, where they were being, uh, from the, ch from the uh, channel that's bullying them. You have all the people from over there come over to your channel and bully you even more. So now, you're being bullied twice the amount. It's not okay. It's not okay. And, To the channel that's been bullying Prissy and her husband on a large scale right now, you know exactly who you are, and your channel needs to be shut down. Now, listen. A lot of people are going to say that, oh, you can't shut their channel. They can't, you can't get the videos taken down because it's fair use act. Listen, fair use does not do exactly what everyone thinks it does. And I'm going to tell you why. I have had several people use my videos, my content, whether it be a live video or a pre-recorded video, they take it. A whole but they'll they'll take a they'll take a a uh, whole bunch of different clips from my videos and make one long 18 20 minute video and they're all my clips right and use them and harass me in the in the in the video right be very harassing and belittling all right I've had several videos taken down you can get it. So if you are a YouTuber and someone's using your content without your permission, you can get it taken down. And depending on how many times they put that content out there, you can get their channel shut down as well. I've done that too. So don't sit up here and, and think, but and, and think that you, there's not ways of getting things done because there is now it doesn't prevent them from creating more videos in the future when you get them taken down or from creating more creating another channel they can do that however that's when you start taking legal action mm -hmm. because Just because we're not celebrities right now or the whole world don't know us or whatever, it, do <clears throat> it doesn't mean that we have to sit up here and be bullied and there not be no consequences. Mm -hmm. So... I want to tell you, if you're going through that, let's start pursuing legal action. Let's start going to our lawyers. Because I guarantee you, like Prissy said in that video, 
when lawsuits when lawsuits lawsuits start getting filed hopefully maybe then you'll think twice before you get on a public platform and try to shame somebody It's not pretty at all. It's not pretty now. Yeah, yeah. Living that easy now. Living and hazy at all. It's not pretty now. No, no. <laughs> Life and easy now. Life and easy at all. In a easy no, in a easy at all. No, no. So, I want to say this. Prissy, hold your head up, sis. And every other black YouTuber out there, whether what you're doing, people like you or not, or whether it's, or whether it's, it's acceptable or not, hold your head up. Ooh. I'm full. I can't eat much food again, guys. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't agree with what somebody's doing, the best thing you can do is pray for them. If you really care about that person, you will contact them in private. You will pray for them. But you will also... Restore them in love, not hate. Mm. Like I just said, people have to learn to have compassion for each other and love and make sure yeah. you get love for each other, you know? And they don't. That's uh, you know, we uh, black women have it hard out here, babe. Have a little compassion for each other and show love. That's all we need. That's all God children need. That's all we need. Love and compassion. That's all God children need. Love conquers all, not hate. Yeah, and we have to. Be there for each other. Just like how a lot of people been there for me in my in my moment right now with my mother lost. Everybody been cheering me up, encouraging me, prayed for me. And mm -hmm. and this some other people donate, you know? Towards the funeral, I thank you guys. That's what love is all about. To help one another and have compassion. And we all need that in life. Everybody in this world need that. And we gotta show it to everybody, guys. And I thank everyone that have compassion for me and love for me and my family. I thank you guys and all those who donate towards my mother funeral. I appreciate that and God will supply your needs abundantly. Yes, he will. And also those who will love to give Towards my mother funeral, we will send you the. The link will the be link. in the description box. Yeah, go fund me. So Clifton is tired, so he left, and I'm getting ready to leave too. But honestly, I just really want you to know.
I'm talking to you, black girl. I want you to know that you are important and that you are loved by God. You are amazing. There's nothing that you cannot do. You were created for such a time as this to be excellent. You rise above tragedy. When they tell you you can't do it, you rise above anyway. You cannot be broken because God is on your side. You are anointed. You are powerful. And there ain't nothing nobody can do about that. Keep giving God the glory because every time you get up, every time you 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 put on a on a smile and you get up every day and you take care of your family, you take care of your kids, okay, you take care of your husband, you cook, you clean, you do all of these things and you do it without, you know what I'm saying, complaining. You just do it. Because you're strong. Because it's who you are. It's who God created you to be. You're just a strong woman. You're a lion. You're a beast. And you do it every single day. There's nothing that you can't do. People will acknowledge your flaws before they acknowledge your courage. People will shine light on what they don't like about you before they acknowledge your strengths. They won't show tell you about all the good things about you. They won't shine light on that at all. Because to do that makes them feel more insecure about who they are. Because they have not yet realized their brilliance as you have. And that's why you get on YouTube, black girl. You get up here every day. You get on YouTube because you're smart. You get on YouTube because you're smart, because you are gifted, because you're talented, because you got something to say, because you stand out when you walk into a room. You can't, you can't be limited. You're powerful. God is on the inside of you. So understand that I got your back and I'm standing behind you to hold you up when you're weak. So when you're weak, I won't talk about you. When you're weak, I won't belittle you. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I'll keep you lifted. I love you, black girl. I love you. I'll see y'all later.